Hey guys, this is your boy Aaraj. So today I wanted to show you the new residential gateway by AT&T um, more in depth. So the first video I made, there were a lot of requests and a lot of questions and people just didn't know what they were getting into and how it looks and you know what's behind the router, what kind of ports and what the lights do and everything. So, so here it is, here I have it. And um, okay, now that's covered up. So this is the BG three twenty five hundred five model. It's a Wi Fi six, the latest residential gateway by AT and T. So they have a sync button in the front, which also illuminates with different LED lights. Uh, green when the signal is up, uh, red when you're rebooting the router and the signals are down and the router state is down. Um, amber is if the connectivity is not all there, even though the connection to the back of the router is there. So this is the sync button. So you can use this for various functions. Um, so let's say if you have other nodes that you connect to, you have Wi-Fi extenders, um, the sync button will talk to them and connect to them. So this is the back of the router. So as you can tell, this is the ONT port. You got the LAN ports right there in yellow. You got the five gig port. You got the USB, so let's say if you want to use the USB for um, you want to upload a firmware uh, and make it on a bootable USB or something and uh, you want to just do it manually, this is where you could insert that and run the firmware. Um, and then you could tell this is the phone port, got the reset button, and then you got the power. Now, there's a lot of questions about how this thing actually gets connected, right? Um, so this is a SFP module. And it's hot swappable. So pretty much this is where your fiber connection goes into, where it would previously in the other routers would be in your garage or somewhere. But now it actually goes and plugs into this SFP module, which sits into the SFP port right here. So once it clicks in, you could pretty much plug the, the fiber connection directly into that. So they will install something like this inside your, let's say, closet. And uh, that's going to be your ONT. And that's where the fiber is going to come out from. And the fiber will go directly on the back into that SFP module. And the fiber looks like this. So let me show you. I have my own personal router connecting to it. So, it's that, and then you got the power. Um, it's a pretty sophisticated gateway. Um, I did show the admin page for it, and uh, the gateway is made by Nokia. So eventually uh, at and I'm assuming will have more than a gig speed um, where they will have up to like five gig or maybe even like two or three gig um, 
fiber speed. So that's this port right here. The 5G port will allow it to connect on that speed and be able to transmit the data through the LAN ports, which you have configured inside your house. Overall, a very nice upgrade to my home router. Super nice. Uh, this router is currently in the testing phase. So I've been helping out with testing the router and uh, they just recently pushed a new firmware and uh, they have a smart app that goes with this router. It's called the Smart Home Manager. So pretty much you could do a lot of different things which you could do if let's say if you want to put your own router in there for different functions and features for parental control or whatever the case is but there's a lot of features that you have in this router that you could quickly access from the smart home manager smart home manager is the app and right now i don't have the router connected i took it off the network so i could show it to you guys but i'm getting the recent upload speed i got on this router was uh, 998 um, on land and about 900 uh, sorry around 450 or 500 on uh, wirelessly connecting to the Wi-Fi router to the router itself so the speed test was uh, was uh, a success because I mean, from one gig speed, you're getting all that connection from the LAN. That means it's actually, this router is actually delivering what they promise. Um, I'm trying to run the app so I can show it to you guys, but since the app's not gonna work if the router is not online, so I'm not able to show you, but um, here's the icon for it. Smart home manager is called so maybe you could download it and you know check it out look at the features um, I'm not sure if this gateway has been released to the public yet so you will have to wait but eventually they're gonna start rolling that out and everybody will have one um, but yeah it's uh, it's super friendly to use user friendly to use uh, this smart home manager app with the router um, because you could simply block access to certain devices for internet. Let's say if you got guest uh, network running and you got guests over and you want to block certain devices, you could do that per device. Yeah, I'm very excited about this router. I've been using it and so far it's been, it's been, uh, it's been all the, what they're, what they've been talking about. And, uh, so, um, just wanted to share this video with you guys and kind of show you up close and personal. So if you have any questions, please drop in the comments and I'll try to get to that as soon as I can. But I want to get this connected back so we could regain access to the internet inside the house and all the smart devices that I have connecting to it. Um, all right, guys, see you in the next video. So there is a misconception that's going on um, for the people who have watched my video and for the people who know this is coming up, um, people are saying that you cannot use your own personal router with this uh, new gateway, which is completely not true because that's the way I have it set up. And uh, I am using the AT&T as a pass through and using my router, my personal router for all the internal network. So, so it's doable, it's possible. Um, you could pass traffic from the AT&T router to your own if, you, if that's the way you want to set up for whatever reason. Um, but just wanted to clarify that. Um, drop any questions below. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll be providing more updates about this.